so here in this uh, figure you can clearly see that we have two lenses right the first one is called the objective lens and the second one is called the eyepiece right the f0 is the focal length of the objective and fe is the focal length of the eyepiece now if you want to magnify an object and object ab is placed an object ab is placed just near the focal focus uh, focal point of the uh, objective lens so the image formed of ab with the help of this objective lens is b dash a dash it is b dash a dash right now what we have to do is what we have to do is we have to extend this horizontal line up till point a1 b dash and we have to trace this angle like this so this angle that i have made is called alpha and this angle is called beta now when the image is found by objective lens so image found by objective lens right first of all we need to find image image formed by objective lens is a dash b dash now one thing that i want to um, tell you right here right now is the focal length the focal length of the eyepiece is greater than the focal length of the objective right the reason for this is that since the nearest vision of di uh, nearest distance of distinct vision of eyepiece or of a eye is 25 so we have to have a focal length of a very uh, the focal length of the eyepiece should be la large you know because when the focal length of the eye lens is small uh, then we and then we, if, if we try to see the object then uh, there will be some kind of strain in our eyes so it is uh, recommended that the uh, focal length of the ip should be large okay so the first thing that we have uh, written here is image formed by the objective lens is a dash b dash this one a dash b dash right and when we see through the ips we actually see a magnified image which is a dash b double dash right so through through ips v c a magnified image magnified image of the object that is represented by a dash a double dash b double dash which is represented by a double dash b double dash right okay so what we now uh, have to find is we need to find the magnifying power right magnifying power m now the magnifying power of any microscope is given by the ratio of the angles subtended by the image i mean ratio of the angles subtended by the image wait a second upon ratio ratio of the angles subtended by the image and by the angle subtended by the object that is alpha now we need to find beta upon alpha now in optics we all know that all the calculations all the optical calculations or all the geometric calculation are for small angles right therefore for uh, small angles we need to approximate what need to we need to we approximate we need to approximate the fact that tan of beta is nearly equal to beta and tan of alpha is nearly equal to alpha now in place of beta and alpha we need to substitute the value of tan beta and tan alpha now if you want to find the value of tan beta and tan alpha what we have done is let's say we have to find the value of tan alpha right we have to find the value of tan alpha now you, you should remember this fact that sin cos and tan so for tan trigonometric ratio 10 we have perpendicular upon base so let's say in this in this particular triangle that i am shading right this one perpendicular is a 1 b dash and base is base is b double dash c 2 so this is let's say equation number 3 
let's see again we need to find the value of tan beta now for tan beta i have obtained this equation number 3 from triangle a1 b dash c2 similarly we can uh, find the uh, value of tan beta from triangle from uh, wait let me rub this from triangle a double dash b double dash and c2 this this triangle a double dash b double dash c2 now i need to find tan beta now tan is perpendicular upon base so perpendicular is a double dash b double dash and base is b double dash c2 let's see equation number four now once we have obtained the value of tan alpha and tan beta we can clearly find the value of magnification m or the magnifying power of the compound microscope so let me zoom in a little so that you can see all the content on the single page i hope it is visible right <coughs> now what we have to do is since there are two magni uh, two lenses the objective lens and the eyepiece now for the combination of lenses for the combination of lenses two or more than two we have learned that magnifying power m net net magnifying power is equals or uh, we can use the word total magnifying power m total of this combination is given by the magnifying power of the objective multiplied by the magnifying power of the eyepiece now here we need to find we need to use the definition of magnifying power of a lens and basically there are two definitions the first definition says that the, magnif the magnifying power of any lens is given by image distance upon this image distance upon object distance and image height hi upon object height h o so for objective lens what we can do is we can use this formula this one we can use this formula this one so for objective lens we have v upon v0 upon minus u0 minus u0 because the image is situated towards the left hand side of the objective lens and according to the conventions if any object is towards the left hand side of the objective the distance is negative and if the if we are taking any distance towards the right then the distances are taken to be positive so i hope you should know this uh, sign conventions or you would be aware of that right okay now the magnifying power of the eyepiece now the derivation of this has been already uh, uploaded by me on this channel so you can clearly see and you can also uh, see that video as well right so magnifying power of eyepiece is given by 1 plus d upon f e so this is the magnifying power of the eyepiece this is the magnifying power of the eyepiece now from this equation i mean this 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 is the image that is found by the eyepiece or which which appear to us as the actual image or the final image the magnified image so we have taken that distance the distance at which the magnified image will be formed right in front of the eyepiece i mean towards the left of the eyepiece so if we write it magnitude wise what can we can write we can write it as v0 upon u0 i am taking the magnitude multiplied by 1 plus d upon f e so this is the final equation this is the final equation of the magnifying power of the compound microscope right so i hope you would have understood the working and the derivation of the magnifying power of the compound microscope thanks for watching and keep studying